Hey guys, it's Alex from Seventh Hour Films, back again with Game of Thrones. Last time, on, uh, last time, as if I could talk uh, on Game of Thrones, we had the pointy end. Um, okay, here, here we go. Let's see what all do we have. Um, Joffrey has taken the throne. Uh, pretty much all the Stark people are in in King's Landing were killed. Um, uh, Arya Stark escaped King's Landing. Ned is being imprisoned. Sansa is still um, engaged to Joffrey and pleaded for uh, mercy for Ned. And Joffrey said that he will get mercy only if he confesses to uh, me being the rightful king. Meanwhile, um, back at the wall, we got Jon Snow... Um, picking fights with smug, uh, posh shitheads, as I'm going to say now. <laughs> and, um, eventually, uh, there's some dead, undead, maybe not dead, kind of dead, somewhat dead, vaguely dead. So happens they were only mostly dead, uh, guys that are apparently like that because, well, at least according to Sam, is because they encountered a White Walker. So, that could be happening. Meanwhile, uh, Daenerys is doing stuff with Khal Drogo and um, trying to make sure that the women that they capture are not just put into, you know, sexual slavery, basically. Um, meanwhile, the Starks and the Lannisters are in a full-blown war it's basically Rob Stark is leading the charge against Tywin Lannister. Tywin Lannister, who has now been named the Hand of the King. And things are happening back and forth there. Rob is really taking charge. Um, and he met up with Catelyn, who left, uh, after, uh, who left the Vale after her sister decided not to um, send the Knights of the Vale to assist her. Tyrion got back to meet up with Tywin and he's about to go into battle as per the request of the uh, the forest brutes, whatever they were called, I don't remember. And yeah, that's basically that. This is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Let's keep this, let's keep the comments section focused on this episode and previous episodes of Game of Thrones that I've reacted to. And with tons and tons of things being said, stuff's about to go down, we're almost to the end of this season. Let's get right into episode 9 of Game of Thrones. Here we go. Sansa came to court this morning to plead for your life. Wow, so it's only like a, and her knees begging for a few them. hours hmm. later. Did you laugh with the others? When I was still a boy, before they cut my balls off with a hot knife, I travel oh a group of actors through the free cities. If you give her the peace she needs and promise to carry her secret to your grave, I believe she will allow you to take the black and live out your days on the wall. You think my life is some precious thing to me? That I would trade my honor for a few more years of what? He's really gonna wall. sacrifice himself? I learned how to die a long time ago. Jeez, that's a. Pity. That's a line. What of your daughter's life, my lord? Is that a precious thing to you? Yeah. You may be ready to die, but I don't think anyone else really is. I'm not even sure if Rob is ready to die. Your mother will still be a milkmaid if I hadn't squirted you into her belly. Ugh. Ah. Uh, never say All it right. like that. You too. These poor girls. Always stuck with perverts. You see that? Joffrey's king now, which yeah. makes your boy and his corpses to be nothing but rebels, it seems to me. Well, when does I mean, think basically what, that hand? what Rob is doing Soon is what Robert good. did. We'll oh, hey, look, a thing. parallel. Robin, Robert. It was meant for my son, Jorah. He brought dishonor to our house, but had the grace to leave the sword before he fled from Westeros. 
Really? My lord, you honor me, but I can't. Oh, you can. And you will. So this dude is Jorah's father. Beast. Will the dead man try to kill me? And bring me my supper. Yes, my lord. Man, that is cool. For, I want that sword, man. It's your brother, Rob. What? What about him? What about him? Yeah. He's not He's dead. He's heading south. To war. Oh, right. And Arya will marry his son, Waldron, when they both come of age. She won't be happy about that. Hmm. You have to get married? And? And? And you will marry one of his daughters. Aww. Whichever you prefer. Did you get a look at his daughters? <laughs> I did. And? Well? One was. Aww. Between honor on the one hand and those he loves on the other, what would he do? He would choose his honor. Whichever was right, no matter what. Yeah. And when I had refused the throne, and he was followed by his son, Aerys, whom they called the Mad King. Oh, Aemon Targaryen. He's a Targaryen? Well, I'm the master of the Citadel. You must make that choice yourself and live with it for the rest of your days, as I have. Oh. Okay. Evidently, he's a Targaryen. Okay. Is he sleeping on his horse? He's a Afimetraki Hine Aste Haldrogo Astemoran. The quotos Shafka Vos Aso Anna Kalesi. I think that's the point. The odds of me living long enough for him to retaliate have just dropped drastically. We'll be at the vanguard tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, well. I, uh, Aren't you so glad you defended Tyrion? I think I'm gonna find myself one. My mother died giving birth to me. Is that why hmm. I'm here? So we can talk about our mothers? So he's the youngest? What sort of accent is that? Is he just like he's crazy sick or...? No one understands how strong he is. Or is he gonna die? Good God, that wound on his chest is crazy. Bruce. Your boy will be plucked from your breast and given to the dogs. I won't leave him. Then when he dies, we make a break for it. I think you should wear your armor tonight, sir. I think you're right. Yeah. It's gonna go down tonight. There is a spell. Some would say death is cleaner. So not just like herbs and stuff, but like Do it. magic. No one will enter. Someone's gonna enter. Oh, it's a poor Bring horse. Back to me. Jora, time to kick some ass. Ooh. Sweep the legs! Ha! Ah, armor. Oh! Nice work. The baby hmm? is coming. Now? It's the midwives. The witch. She can bring baby. I hear her say so. She's busy. You can't go in there. Dear. She kissed me afterwards and sang me a song. And by morning, I was deep enough in love to ask for her hand. Girl was a whore, you see. Jamie had arranged the whole thing. Jamie. Rude, the rapers, all of it. All of it. He thought it was time I had a all of it. A girl who's almost raped doesn't invite another man into her bed two hours later. 
As I said, I was a fair point. Young and stupid. Uh, another fair point. Oh. And that takes care of that. He's not going to war. Wait, why? Why is this upside down? Oh, there he is. Crap! Did, they're dragging Tyrion in. Scream, Wilhelm scream. Did he sleep through the whole battle? Lady Stark, I love you, my sword, but I seem to have lost it. It is not your sword I want. They they captured Give Jamie? Me my daughter's back. This war is far from over. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder if the war is just going to continue on into season two. That'd be interesting. Oh, and there's Arya. Oh! Nice job. Oh, crap. They're gonna execute him, aren't they? And Arya is the only one there. Well, I guess Sansa's there, but still. I am Eddard Stark, Lord of Winterfell, and Hand of the King. Oh, they don't know what he's gonna do. I come before you to confess my treason. No. In the sight of gods and men, and seize the throne for myself. Ow. Freaking people with, with foods and such. Let the high Arya, you can't, though. and Baylor the Blessed bear witness to what I say. Baylor? Who is Baylor? The Blessed. Joffrey. What is to be done with this traitor, Your Grace? Come on, you can't kill him. He confessed. My mother wishes me to let Lord Eddard join the Night's Watch. The Night's Watch. Stripped of yeah. all titles and powers, he would serve the realm in permanent exile. But they have the soft hearts of women. Oh no. Bring me his head. Even Cersei doesn't want him to do that. What the hell? Then the war between the Starks and the Lannisters keeps going. Oh my gosh. Look at that big fuck off sword. the end of the episode. Oh my gosh. Oh god, I'm crying, man. Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. There's a very... The very serious moment, I just looked over on, I, I have uh, the internet open on another tab on my computer and it says I have 23 YouTube notifications. As, as the episode has been going on, that number just kept rising and rising. Uh, it's Wednesday, Doctor Who went up, so. Um, anyway. Um, wow. Fucking Joffrey, man. Shit. Oh, God, I'm in tears, man. I mean, I guess I don't know, man. I guess, and maybe this is a problem with coming into a series at this point in time. <laughs> it's one of those things where... It's one of those things where... You hear things about a show. I, I, I didn't hear that Ned died. Um, I didn't hear that Ned died in, in this show. Especially early on, like this. But... 
or sometimes, sometimes I would think about Game of Thrones and I'd be like, oh yeah, you know what? I never really heard about, um, I never really heard about Ned Stark before I watched this show. I've, I've, I've heard of Arya Stark and Daenerys Targaryen, and um, I've heard of Joffrey Lannister. And I've heard of Tyrion Lannister, but not Ned Stark. In fact, honestly, um, if you go if you go to my channel, if you go to my YouTube channel page, um, you'll notice in my YouTube banner, um, it's a, it's a picture of me and a bunch of characters, you know, next to me, representing stuff that I make videos on. And you'll notice that for Game of Thrones, I put uh, Jon Snow because John, I I don't know I don't maybe it's because I heard about Jon Snow the most that's why I put him up there and then I started watching the show I'm like you know Jon's not really that major of a character right now so and, and I don't know if he becomes more of a major character or not maybe but. <laughs> See, that's an entirely new, like, curveball to throw at us. So, not only do we have, not only do we have the twist that Ned pretty much forsaked his honor in order to, he basically, because we only had one other scene with Ned in this episode. And that was him talking to Varys, and Varys saying that, um, Varys saying that, um, you know, is, is your honor really worth it? You know, you know, because Varys wants to keep peace in the realm. And, um, he's like, you know, and, and Ned was like, no, I want to keep my honor. I'm, you know, I'm ready to die. I grew up with soldiers. I learned how to die a long time ago. And Varys says, like, well, you might be... You might know how to die, but do your daughters. You know, is your honor worth the danger it puts your daughters in? And so, and that's it. That And, you know, we don't really see, we don't see Ned for the rest of the episode until right here at the end. So, so in all this time, we didn't even see he had to have had a change of heart. And, a chain, and he changed his mind to where he doesn't he doesn't want to you know hold his honor you know what's his honor if his if his children are in danger so he goes through this whole emotional change so that's already something but then the fact that you know you know uh, last episode we saw that Sansa was pleading for his life to save him and we saw, and Varys said, like, hey, well, if, if you confess to Joffrey being the king, you'll be put on, you'll be put on the Night's Watch, uh, with your bastard son. And at the end here, you know, Joffrey says, like, well, my mother says that we should, um, <sighs> my mother says that we should put him on the Night's Watch, strip him of all his land, his glory, his... His, his money, all everything, and put him on the Night's Watch. So, that's interesting. You know, that Cersei will... C Cersei will keep him alive. You know, as long as he's not a problem. As long as he's not a problem, he's okay. But then... So that's uh, that's maybe a bit of a curveball. You know, and that's all... That's all Cersei. We don't know how Jaime would have done that. We don't know how... Tywin would have done that. Tywin may have wanted to take the take his head too. I don't because Tywin's the one in the war. So, but the fact that Joffrey, Joffrey specifically said no, he has to die. What? How did that cross his mind? Yeah. Well, okay. It's clear that it's clear that he's not being manipulated by his mother as much as we thought he would be because I think even uh, Littlefinger said a couple episodes back 
when they were debating, like, okay, well, who should we have on the throne? Joffrey or Stannis Baratheon? And the implication was that it would actually be better to have Joffrey on the throne because you can manipulate him. He's a child. But just in here, you can't manipulate him. You know, they tried. Even... And then they were surprised that they couldn't do it. Even Cersei was like, what the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't kill him. Send him to the Night's Watch. But it was too late for anything to be stopped, and he's fucking dead. Shit, man. God, I've only ever gotten really emotional one other time in these videos, and that's, that's in Doctor Who when we lost Rose. I didn't think I'd have this much of an emotional reaction over Ned Stark dying, but... Because it was so sudden and very crazy, like... It's just the fact, it came out of nowhere. Because he says, like, my mother wants me to send him to the Night's Watch and strip him of all his land and his uh, money and stuff like that. Um, and his power. Sansa, my betrothed, wants me to, you know, has pleaded for his, you know, life and stuff. But fuck him, I'm gonna kill him. And it just happens like, shit, man. That's fucking crazy. So. I got, uh, I got other notes here. <laughs> shit. So, okay, so, well, so... So even though... So even though technically they took care of, they took care of Ned, the war is still going to go on. Because if you had let him live, Ned would have told Rob to surrender, to finish it and swear allegiance to Joffrey, and Rob probably would have listened. Maybe, I don't know. But because of this, there's no way Rob is going to back down from that. Um... Yeah, so Ned Stark's honor. I already talked about. I already talked about that. Jorah's father. That was interesting. Um, the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch is actually Jorah's father. That was interesting, and the fact that um, now, so this sword has been passed down through this family for so long, and now this guy is giving it to Jon Snow, who a is not part of that guy's is not part of the family. And B, is technically part of no family. He's not a Stark, you know? He's not a Stark. He's nothing. So, that's interesting. And I'm wondering... I wonder maybe if there's ever conflict between Jon Snow and Jorah. That means they're going to have to meet. And the whole Khal Drogo uh, Dothraki plotline is going to have to converge at some point. Uh, converge, excuse me. I said that weird... Um, yeah, so, so that's interesting that he's, um, that, that guy is Jorah's father. It makes me wonder, like, why, why did Jorah leave then? Why did he, why did he leave, you know, because the guy says, like, he dishonored my son Jorah, he dishonored our house and fled Westeros. Why did he do that? You know, why did he join the Targaryens? Speaking of Targaryens, freaking blind dude at the Night's Watch is a Targaryen. That's just fucking weird. So, um, I wrote down Rob equals Robert because technically there is a parallel between them. Rob, and, and it's just interesting because their names are identical pretty much, is that, you know, Robert led the rebellion against the Mad King, against the Targaryens. Now, Rob is leading a rebellion against the Lannisters, and honestly, after what we just saw, probably going to be denounced as the Mad King. The Mad King Joffrey. So, it's just interesting that it's a, history is basically repeating itself. A guy, a guy named Robert is leading a rebellion against a family with a who has a king that is fucking crazy. It's exactly the same. So, 
uh, I wrote down the witch. What the heck? What the heck is going on? So, so magic is real in this. Excuse me. There is magic and stuff in this. Which I guess I shouldn't... I, I didn't exactly rule out, but they just haven't talked about it yet. So... Um... So, yeah. So the witch is doing something to call Drogo. I don't know what. I don't know what it is, but it's crazy. Yeah, I, I have no idea. But also the fact that she said, like... Like, look, don't come in the tent until I'm done, all right? No one no one enters the tent until I'm done. And then Freen Daenerys is, is starting to give birth, and Jorah takes her in there. It's like, no, what are you doing? It's like, so everyone there is going to be all sorts of fucked up next episode, I'm sure. And then the last thing I wrote down was Baylor. Was Baylor like a prophet or something? They said, like, Baylor the Blessed. And they talked about, like, his word or something. It's like, was he a god? But they've talked about multiple gods, and they've never really name-dropped any gods. So maybe he was a prophet or something? I don't know. But I know this episode is called Baylor, so what? But, but, didn't, but did they call some... Did they call one guy Baylor? Did Ned do that, or did I just... Did I mistake that for something else? I don't know, man. God, I have to go to class now. I'm all, all shaken up from Game of Thrones. But, all right. But yeah, um, that's basically all for this episode of Game of Thrones. Next time, it's the finale. It's the season one finale where I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen. But shit, man, we fucking lost Ned. Okay, um, yeah, shit, I can't even say shit's going down anymore, it's like, no, it's been going down for like five episodes or so, I don't even know how many, but, um, yeah, okay, with all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time, take care. Alright guys, so, um, uh, I wanted to tack this on to the end of the video here. Uh, it's a couple hours later, and um, I was about to head home from class, but um, I'm still thinking about Game of Thrones, so um, I just wanted to, like, just get the last, like, couple emotions out on camera. So, um, I was just thinking, like, about everything, everything that is going to be impacted by Ned's death. Um, here. You guys don't mind? I'm going to rest my arm on the thing there. All right, cool. Um, just everything that's going to be impacted by Ned's death. Um, the family, like, how this will affect Sansa, like, will she... Are they cool? Are they cool with her? Like, because, honestly, I don't know, because Joffrey, you know, Joffrey said, like, I will get, I will show him, I will show your father mercy if, um... If he confesses, and he did, but Joffrey lied and he didn't, um, he didn't show mercy. Oh, God, this is, sorry, it's hot in here. Um, sorry about that, my hair's all curly and stuff. You don't care. Um, so yeah, how will this impact Sansa? Is she going to stay, um, at King's Landing and stuff like that, or not? Um, how will this affect Rob now? You know, now that he, he is the true head of, uh, House Stark now. Because he is the oldest Stark, uh, oldest male Stark. How will this affect Bran, or Bronn? Bronn, we'll say Bronn. How will this affect Bronn? You know, will he now commit more to being, like, a riding archer now because he know he wants to fight in the war with the Lannisters. How will the war with the Lannisters keep playing out? You know, will the Starks win? Will the Lannisters win? Will will they have to take a break if the White Walkers show up or um, or Daenerys shows up? Stuff like that. And you know, how will this affect? Um, how will Ned's death actually affect uh, Catelyn? You know. 
granted, I guess she's I guess she's kind of good. She just got a new husband, basically. Um, but then I, I was also thinking, how much is this going to affect John? And especially, I remembered it was in episode two, uh, the King's Road, that um, that before departing to the Night's Watch, John asked, like, please tell me something about my mother, and. Um, Ned said, oh god, it's starting to rain. I don't know if... Yeah, you may be able to hear, but it's starting to rain and it's tapping on the car. Um, but, like, Ned said, like, look, when I meet you again, I will tell you about your mother. I promise. That never happened, you know? Was that... I don't know. It just, it kind of makes it, like, a very real moment now, that now we don't know. And is John going to bring that up? how no one will know now no one knows about that except for maybe if jamie knew i don't think so because jamie wasn't really part of the rebellion was he because i was gonna say like you know the, the only two people that probably know about john's mother well first off is ned obviously but the other is robert and robert's dead too so that sucks um, so yeah, what does that mean? What does all of this mean for Jon Snow? You know, is he going to stay... Is he going to stay with the Night's Watch for a little bit, or not? It's... From the sound of it, especially after talking to, uh, the Targaryen, he's going... He, he might try to go back and, you know, help the war with the Lannisters. Oh god, it's really starting to rain out here. Uh, so I'm gonna wrap this up really quickly, but first off, um... But real quick, I do need one little clarification. Um, I think at one point they said, I think Varys was, it was when Varys was talking to Ned, he said something like, um, he said something, it sounded like he said, like, well, and the person who's, you know, in bed with the Queen tonight is, like, Stannis Baratheon. Shut up, Rain. God. So, I need that little clarification as the rain just keeps going. What is up with Stannis? Are we going to get Stannis? Obviously, I don't want any spoilers. I just want a quick clarification. Is Stannis... Is Stannis at King's Landing? Is he going to contest Joffrey's kingship? You know? Because, I mean, the secret pretty much died with Ned. So, yeah... Ned didn't really inform... Well, I guess Varys knows. It's possible that maybe Varys will say it, or Littlefinger will say it. I have no idea. But yeah, uh, the rain is really picking up now, so I better uh, start getting home. So, just a little thing that I wanted to tack on to the end of this. I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. The rain got worse. Bye. Alright guys, thanks for watching this emotional episode of Game of Thrones. Uh, if you want to watch more of my Game of Thrones reactions, you can click the playlist down here. You can also click on some other videos if you want to check those out. Uh, you've got the subscribe button down here if you haven't done that already. And you can follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you later.